Oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface. Yet only 1% of these waters are protected. Marine ecosystems are in peril. It's feared that human impact could drive half the ocean species to extinction within the next century. Our only hope for halting this unnatural loss of marine life is to create and effectively manage protected areas. In these safe zones, endangered marine creatures can take refuge. Biodiversity can prosper. And sustainable fisheries can be developed. The Bazaruto Archipelago National Park should be one such refuge for in its waters, one of the world's most endangered marine mammals clings to existence by a thread, the dugong. Sailors once believed these lumbering herbivores were mermaids, half human, half fish. In reality, they're just as unique. Unlike dolphins and whales, these mammals are grazers that feed on the vanishing seagrass meadows of Mozambique's shallow coastal bays. Today, only a few herds of these extraordinary mammals survive in the western reaches of the Indian Ocean. Their population has crashed by a terrifying 30% in the last six decades. And the species will not survive this continued decline for long. Dugongs take up to 17 years to reach sexual maturity, and seven years may pass between calves. Every dugong lost takes decades to replace and several are killed in Bazaruto each year alone. The Bazaruto Archipelago National Park is home to one of the last viable breeding herds on the planet. But habitat loss and incidental capture in gill nets are threatening the population. In addition, 60% of the Indian Ocean's sensitive seagrass meadows have been lost, and with it dozens of marine species, like the dugong, will simply disappear. Making matters worse, these gentle giants are hunted for meat in some parts of their range. In Australia, traditional dugong hunting is still allowed. Here in Mozambique, Bazaruto National Park lacks the resources to give this endangered species the extra protection needed to ensure their safety. Gill nets used by nearly half of the local fishermen entangle and drown the air-breathing mammals. Without intervention, Africa's last viable dugong population will not survive. South Africa's Endangered Wildlife Trust has partnered with the Bazaruto National Park to implement the Dugong Emergency Protection Project. This provides law enforcement support to the park to prevent illegal and harmful netting activities. This is the dugong's only hope for now. They need your help for the future.